I'm sure you've seen pictures like those in your Twitter feed in the past few days. If you wonder what they were, they are images generated by an AI called Dali Mini. If you've never seen those, you need to watch this video because you are missing out. If you wonder how this is possible, well, you are on the perfect video and will know the answer in less than 5 minutes. This name, Dali, must already ring a bell as I covered two versions of this model made by OpenAI in the past year with incredible results. But this one is different. Dali Mini is an open source community created project inspired by the first version of Dali and has kept on evolving since then, with now incredible results thanks to Boris, Daima and all contributors. Yes, this means you can play with it right away, thanks to Hugging Face. The link is in the description below, but give this video a few more seconds before playing with it. It will be worth it and you'll know much more about this AI than everyone around you. At the core, Dali Mini is very similar to Dali. So my initial video on the model is a great introduction to this one. It has two main components, as you suspect, a language and an image module. First, it has to understand the text prompt and then generate images following it. Two very different things requiring two very different models. The main difference with Dali lie in the model's architecture and training data but the end-to-end -end process is pretty much the same. Here, we have a language model called BART. BART is a model trained to transform text input into a language understandable for the next model. During training, we feed pairs of images with captions to Dali Mini. BART takes the text caption and transforms it into discrete tokens, which will be readable by the next model. And we adjust it based on the difference between the generated image and the image sent as input. But then, what is this thing here that generates the image? We call this a decoder. It will take the new caption representation produced by BART, which we call an encoding, and will decode it into an image. In this case, the image decoder is VQGAN, a model I already covered on the channel. So I definitely invite you to watch the video if you're interested. In short, VQGAN is a great architecture to do the opposite. It learns how to go from such an encoding mapping and generate an image out of it. As you suspect, GPT-3 and other language generative models do a very similar thing, encoding text and decoding the newly generated mapping into a new text that it sends you back. Here, it's the same thing, but with pixels forming an image instead of letters forming a sentence. It learns through millions of encoding image pairs from the internet so basically your published images with captions and ends up being pretty accurate in reconstructing the initial image. Then you can feed it new encodings that look like the ones in training but are a bit different and it will generate a completely new but similar image. Similarly, we usually add just a little noise to these encodings to generate a new image representing the same text prompt. And voila! This is how Dali Mini learns to generate images from your text captions. As I mentioned, it's open source and you can even play with it right away thanks to Hugging Face. Of course, this was just a simple overview and I omitted some important steps for clarity. If you'd like more details about the model, I linked great resources in the description below. I also recently published two short videos showcasing some funny results as well as a comparison results with DALI 2 for the same text prompts. It's pretty cool to see. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if so, please take a few seconds to let me know in the comments, and leave a like. I will see you not next week, but in two weeks with another amazing paper. 